She does look like she's older and got a little bit more of that bite, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. More of that bite? What you mean, what that, boy? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, I, 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 I. Welcome back to another chaotic episode of Careful Boys. Hey. We have with us Mr. Walter Hong. Oh, hello, Walter. Hello. We have Colleen Wong. We have hello. Nick hello. Nick Hong. Oh. Bart Kwong. Oh. Anthony Bart Lee. Tiger stomach. Or tiger belly. Tiger stomach. <laughs> Actually, that's what Joe called me, Anthony Wong, when he was trying to spell JK News with acronyms and didn't have a fucking L in there, so he called me Anthony Wong. That's right. <laughs> oh, he really called you Anthony Wong? Yes. In a well, Vegas lobby. Realized is JK isn't just J for Jitsukawa and K for Kwan. It's yeah. also N for Nick, E for Ryan E. May. Yeah. <laughs> w. Yep. W Dude. for Anthony Wong. Yeah. And Anthony S. Wong. S is for Steve. Steve. He's the S. Yeah, you really made that one work. Damn. Yeah, it was very um, w. misleading. Oh, yeah. uh, anyways, what's up, Walter? Did you color your hair? You look young. You know, um, oh, I did, wow. yeah. Oh, wow, Backstreet I, is back, all I right? Know. Yeah. yeah. But this is, I, I always uh, ask my color is to, rec like, just pick a color. And then, so she's like, I think uh, gold would be good. And I was like, okay, cool, why? She goes, because it hides your grays better. Like, you can keep it in longer. Because if I do, like, let's say, like, a black, oh. my roots, my gray roots will show. Yeah. So I have to color it uh, more frequently. But she's like, if you do gold, then you can just keep going for a little bit longer. I don't think she knows what she's talking about. Oh, really? <laughs> you can still see grays? Yeah, a few. Well, there's Dude. grays on the side. Yeah, on the side, yeah, yeah. How many months How is, is that supposed in? to cover? Like? This one's, like, a month. God. My hair grows fast. That's not bad, though. Yeah, my hair grows. Like, if, if I had the wherewithal, I would cut my hair every two weeks. But I don't have the wherewithal. You don't want. You don't like the silver fox look. You don't want to just. Right. You know, I think if I if I was single, I mean, I'm sorry, no. If I was, if I was married and had uh, kids, yeah. and I had the opportunity to say like f the kids, like some people, then I probably would leave it as a silver fox. Yeah. But no. <laughs> like some people. Oh. Being single, you know, I don't want to mention anyone's names who said f the kids, but you know. <laughs> no, you that, oh, you mean Bart? I'll give you their initials, Bart Kwan. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yeah, no. If I, I think if I was like married or I had like a, a long term girlfriend. I probably wouldn't care as much, but I'm really shallow. So like I feel like I need to not be gray So if you were dating a woman who did have gray hair, would that be a problem? Did you throw her in the garbage? Yeah, gosh, I'm sure I'd want to at times to throw her in the garbage, but it wouldn't be for the gray hair so much Yeah, 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 just for other stuff. But you know, there is a thing though. You know how like that silver hair is like trendy right now? <laughs> yeah but, and so I always wanted that, but then I feel like if I get it, they're not gonna be like, oh, that guy's cool, he's got, he's got silver hair. They're like, oh, that guy's old. They'll be like, that guy knows some spells. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's got the warlock. Like, he's a wizard, yeah. you know, like, they'll be like, that guy's old. They're all you good know, side you can't effects. do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. You know. That's not bad. I think you would look pretty cool with all gray hair. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I think so, but I don't know. To be fair, yes, from my perspective right now, it's just gray. It's just gray. Now, I saw the peaking of the, the uh, gold, I believe. Uh -huh. uh, but you know what? You're not hiding any gray, but you still look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Are you usually a hat guy? Um, when I go uh, at home, I'm not. But when I go out, I step out, I'll wear a hat. Got it. Because I feel like I've only seen you here with a hat on. Yeah, and like people tell me, like they're like when I take my hat, I'm like, oh, you have hair, and I'm like, oh well, yeah, doesn't everyone? Head. Yeah, doesn't everyone? But then I realize, yeah, not everyone not does everyone. have. Yeah, hair. not Steve Green. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't say his last name. Not so, Steve G. <laughs> Just use the initials, Steve Green, I think it is. <laughs> that's nice that you were able to, did you do anything to keep your hair to this age? Because that's pretty impressive. No, it's it's just, it's all like, but the funny thing is, is like my close friends, half of us have a full head of hair, yeah. and the other half have sparse hair. So it doesn't really occur to me that people are balding or so much, until like I go out into the wild, mm. and then I'll see like other people my age, and mm. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. that's not like what I look like. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't notice. You know, you don't notice until you go out. And because I've been at home for the past three years, mm. like, I don't really go out. Well, I know. think people can hide it better in the early stages anyway. Like, True. You know, like, there's, I've had friends who started losing it mid-20s, but wow. they, you had no clue. Yeah. 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 Transition's key. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, yeah. you know, some people, they had gray hair from college. Yeah. They, they, they didn't transition. And then they, as they got older, it just stayed gray. So now if they color it, everyone's going to be like, yo, what happened? What'd you do? But like I transitioned, as soon as I saw enough gray, I started coloring my hair. Mm. So that now if you do see gray, people are like, oh, you have gray hair? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I always had a lot, but 
Uh, I have gray I hair coming in. I, I got white well, hairs yeah. all over my head. Yeah, so as, as soon as you start getting it up top, and you, it gets to the point where you notice it right away, yeah. then you start coloring, and no one will be the wiser. Like, they'll just think you always had black hair. Your hair is pretty black. Though. If I don't gel my hair, though, you'll see a lot. But then I also feel too lazy to like color hair. And nah, stuff. No I really like that viral like TikTok video of that like Chinese dude or whatever who's like kind of got he's bald, but he has all of his like little toupees that are just on. Yeah, him. Like, yeah. Really? He switches. And he's like yeah. dancing around, but he like takes off showing and like, throws it on, <laughs> and then he takes and he throws it off and he takes another one off and he like throws it on. But it fucking looks yeah. good. It, like it's an instant change. Yeah. yeah this shit like the minute it goes on, up. it's like. Boom, it, looks, it doesn't look fake at all, oh. even though you see like six other patches on him. Oh, and when he takes yeah. it off, it's, he's got like the cut that comes right here, and it's perfectly like just oh. shaved off. Oh. And then he takes it off, and he takes the next one, puts it on, but it's like flawless. And it's like six different full on styles. It's like, wow. a, like emo, it's like a full lock, it's yeah, like a fucking dude. butt. It's crazy. That might arguably be the best presented, like in terms of like looks, that style of like you shave this off. And then you just get a different hairpiece that you glue on. That's tight. That's probably the most convincing, but it's probably not the most sustainable because it costs a lot. Mm. The thing with toupees or like hair plugs or anything is, for the people that know you, it's gonna be a huge change. Yeah. They're not gonna be used to it. They're gonna stare at you constantly. But the people that don't know you, they're the ones that are gonna be none the wiser. Because like, true. I had a friend's dad that got uh, hair plugs or some some procedure done. Could not stop staring. Couldn't, because for the life, because you know the old him. I know the old him for like 20, 30 years. Yeah. But then all of a sudden he's got hair, and everyone's like, oh, it looks great. I'm like, I, I can't get beyond the fact that he used to be bald. It just doesn't, it doesn't click. Yeah. Some people look good bald too. That's true. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, when you know people balding and they just go, fuck it, and they shave the rest and they good. uncover this amazing, nicely shaped head. Like Jordan. Dude, yeah, like Jordan. What if Jordan had fucking hair all of a sudden? And he brought back like a little Hitler mustache too. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Bald, but a little stash. Like LeBron yeah, should just accept it. Bald. LeBron oh, should just LeBron. accept it. Dude, talk about just going bald. LeBron needs to go bald. Yeah, but he won't. Because <laughs> he looks great bald. You know, he's got yeah. a great head. Yeah, but you know, but every guy, every guy has their thing. That makes and it feel vulnerable. Hair, yeah, actually, that's true. Because, you know, hit LeBron, you know, the head, you've, you've seen the headband memes where, like, it started here and yeah. he's like teens and For then just kept going up and up. For a while, it looked really good, but then it just, you know. Well, yeah, once the cul de sac kind of forms too much, then Cold, yeah. Yeah, it gets rough. But I think that's a big thing, too, because a lot of the time it's mental for men. Mm -hmm. It's not so much that they look bad, it's just the feeling of, They're like, your age is, is catching up yeah. with you yeah. in a visible way. Cool. But, you know, Again, it doesn't always look that bad. But then there is a lot of solutions. I don't know which ones work, but I do know, because you know Dietrich's got that done. Yeah, Where's I like that? that he shows it too. Yeah, he's the only person that can because he has that fucking sense of humor. So yeah. like my friend who was going bald very early age, uh, eventually just said fuck it and went to one of those treatments where they, they shave it and then they glue a piece, but then you have to change it every like month or so because it that the hair falls out of that too. Oh wow. So your fucking wig goes bald. To re-glue every month? You gotta, well, almost. Because it depends on if you have like, uh, for some guys that don't really do a lot of physical activity, you don't have to change as often because you don't sweat. Mm -hmm. But then if you do sweat, that's the thing that makes the glue come up and then your hair just starts doing this. Yeah. So he can't shower with it on? You can shower, yeah. yeah but it's, it's sweating more about, is underneath. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's more about what's happening on your skin underneath the hair piece. Yeah. So Does it itch? Do you ever see him go, oh, oh yeah. It, it'll super itch after a while. Fucking found out. I've been searching this whole time for this video. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. Ready? It's this guy, but I'll go for the other one. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hella clean. I'm gonna, turn, I'm gonna turn down the audio for uh, copyright strikes. But look at that. Pulls it back off. Grabs another one. Look how fast this is. Doesn't that look flawless? Whoa. Yeah. He looks good in all kinds of hairstyles. Right. Dude, Seriously. dude, keep watching. Get out of here. Why is Janice texting? Look at it. <laughs> hey, who's Leslie? <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Isn't that fucking good. sick. <laughs> look at that shit. Damn. Everything looks good on him. Everything looks flawless. <laughs> Stop laughing, Ryan. <laughs> How do you know, dude? Stop laughing, dude. Because <laughs> it's like something a kid would do. Like, you know, like kids don't know that, that not to fucking say yeah. that. <laughs> so that's the same thing that Dietrich has. He has that thing where he can he can do that too. Wow. But the crazy thing is they'll because you know you're never really gonna lose this side hair, so they leave that and they'll fade it up to a point, and that's where the stuff fits in. 
But again, do you guys like, like play games with it? Do you like have them sit up there and you just like all the time toss it over like it's fucking? Because once it starts oh. getting loose and it's time <laughs> for him to change it, he'll just like fuck around and go what, and then like, flip up. Whoa! Like it's really funny, or he'll be like, "Hey, smell it," and then oh god, oh. just make you get a whiff, and it's no, no, no. it's pretty fucking funny. Oh. <laughs> but I think that's that's why the place that he went to like fell in love with him because he made them this like amazing deal that they could not fucking refuse to like partner with him on this piece because he was like, "Hey, check it out." I'm gonna actually be the only client that can tell people I got this done. Mm. Cause no, every, anyone who comes through there, it's a top secret thing. Yeah, You're not even supposed yeah. to see other guys that walk in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you know, it's wow. super confidential, but he's like, yeah. hey, guess what? I can do that. Cause I think it's funny. Wow. And he made like a whole video explaining it. And, every, and we filmed the whole process That's thinking awesome. that one day we might do that. That's a good way to cope too. To it is, yeah. A transition into just this new identity of just, mm -hmm. this is, you know, part of who you are now. And I always forget myself. Like I always forget that it's a it's a hairpiece because it just looks so, you just get, you know, after a while you stop thinking about it yeah. and you're like, oh shit, oh yeah, until he's fucking around and going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Show think his in his most comfortable state, like let's say he booked a, a, like a one week vacation in like the Maldives or whatever and he's not gonna see anyone. In his most comfortable state, would he be like, fuck it, I'm not gonna have this shit because it itches or whatever and I'll just be like all natural for a whole week? Or would he want to still like look good? Like that's his. It depends on what time of the month. Because if he just got it on, it's easier to just leave it. Oh. But then if you have to change it after a while, then he'll probably just have it off and wear hats. Maybe. But God, I see. I think it's more like if it's already on there and the glue is fresh and it's just been applied, it, it's not gonna come off. You swim, you do anything. Oh, you, you can really live life normal. Like he he'll do head spins. It'll be fine. Whoa! That's, that's, that's a good yeah. marketing commercial for it. It really yeah. is, yeah. Is he single? <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, he's no. not, okay. Are, are you I'm asking? No, yeah, I, I was curious for myself, but also, <laughs> I was curious um, in that, does, does he feel like when he goes out to meet women, does he feel more confident with it on? Or like, what's the results of it? Like if it's on or off? He's, he's, he about. got that done in the middle of already being in a relationship. So okay. he's never even tested it out on, you know, he's never road tested it. On the so. new mark. Maybe he yeah. should, maybe he should. <laughs> <laughs> just get out of his relationship real quick right. to test his wig. Well, his woman should give him a pass, like a hall pass. Hey, hey, this is for research. This I is will for say, the other men out there. Yeah, I mean, I think judging from some of the guys that I did see while I was in there, because I went with him to do it and I saw like other dudes that have just the most unbelievable pieces. Like they're so like old, yet they have like the nicest quaff and it's like way too advanced. <laughs> I'm like, there's not no believable. Yeah, yeah, there's like, <laughs> yeah, there's, I think when you're given the power, like you just go too crazy. Maybe you get the hair you always wanted, which necessarily shouldn't kick in. At Good for them. Time. Come on, dude. Good for them. Yeah, and I think it's like live it up, but also at the same time, let's like make a kind of a believable thing so it doesn't work against you in the future. Yeah, I some, agree. Yeah, women are going to laugh at that shit too. They're not idiots, you know? Yeah. yeah. Even though, yeah, it looks good, but also it looks a little comical. <laughs> But but when have we as people <laughs> when have we we as people ever been like let's just do just enough? I know that's true. Yeah. Like that. If the excess is available, you'll take you it. Do, yeah. it's, it's like women when they get boob jobs, like when they ask their friends like, well, should I get B? No, no, just go double D because you're gonna want to get bigger anyway. And then it's like this 95 pound girl with like triple D or whatever I don't know the sizes. And then it's, and like, can you tell that they're fake? And, uh, no, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> At least they can go like. They can do a modest amount and then just add as they go now, rather than like commit to like yeah. know, fucking something that doesn't even have a battery size. Yeah. yeah, that's why it's all about transition. Transition. You yeah, know? that is important. I, can, uh, uh, I relate to that in, in like, for example, getting like tattoos, right? Just like uh, obviously earlier, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna get this little thing. But like some of my friends who are like full sleeves, when I was not even close to being able to get a sleeve, you know what I mean? They're like, dude, you're gonna get a whole sleeve anyway, dude. You just plan out the whole sleeve right mm. now. Like, dude, I can't fucking plan out a whole sleeve right now. So just over the years, you start getting like little thing here. You know, it's almost like patchwork. You get a little memento here. Next thing you know, you're like, oh, I, I want to fill it up more because now it's got a weird shit. And I accept the fact that I was wrong now because I'm like, oh, I ended up getting kind of like a whole, more or less a whole sleeve. Right. But at the time when you're younger, you're like, I'm not gonna fucking get a whole sleeve right now. You know, I'd rather take it slow. So, but I, I get that mentality when you're looking at something and you're like, you might as well just commit to it all the way because you're gonna change it anyway later. Well, anyway, you, you could have you know? also made a terrible decision when you were younger to get a full sleeve. That was just not your style as you go. That's over. true. That's, That's true. good that you did it incrementally. Yeah. 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 Otherwise you, you'd have a fucking Playboy bunny or some right. dumb shit. Okay. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> Lift, laugh, love. That would be so whack. <laughs> or like you got like the you got like the white biker um, dragon, 
as opposed to like the Asian dragon. <laughs> like your dragon? They have yeah, different yeah. they have different styles, you know, like yeah. the eagles are different Maybe. for like yeah, yeah. That's true, yeah, the ones that are like They're vintage all, flash. Yeah, so like when you're cuz I I have a friend in high school that got like the the white biker like I don't know if it was an eagle, some animal on his back. And I was like, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna regret that. You're gonna regret that. And of course, two, three years later, he regretted it and he got it covered up yeah. into like a, a, I think he got like a white dry or something else. And then he, they, the, this guy, that, the tattoo artist is like a real artist and changed it uh, into an oriental dragon. Whoa. And made it, like, really, made it look really cool. Um, but we're like, you got lucky you found that guy. Otherwise, because he got it like, I think when he was like 16 or something. Yeah, that's and rough, a couple man. years later, it starts to, you know, it starts to like bleed through and, yeah, but yeah, I, it's, I can see both sides though. Like how you, you do want to plan it out, but at the same time, you don't know if you're going to like any of the stuff. Yeah, and you're younger, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not thinking about like this full on life commitment and you're Asian, so you're like, my mom's going to whoop my ass, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's not until after you, you get like six or seven tattoos and you're like, oh, she's not going to kill me. I can survive this. Mm -hmm. There's also that thing kind of didn't make sense. Remember when we were very young and tattoos weren't as common and the one thing I always heard was like, don't get a tattoo because when you get older, it's gonna look stupid, it'll fade, it'll get all wrinkly. That's not true for anybody. Like old dudes with tattoos look fucking bum. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. Oh. Old yeah, had, women, old men, they look fucking tight. I, I had to interject a little bit, just a little bit, only because I was at a wedding recently. And the guy <laughs> that got married is like 45, 46. So everyone at the wedding is in their 40s, late 40s, early 50s. And then I turned to my friend, and then you know, women, and they're wearing dresses at the wedding, um, like strapless and like open, all, mm -hmm. all whatever. And I turned to my friend, I go, hey, now I know what it looks like when you have a tattoo 20 years later. <laughs> and some of them tattoos did not age well, because they probably got it when they were like 18, 19, and now they're in their 40s. It's just oh, like the picture tattoo? itself. Yeah, the or like a tramp stamp. Oh, I was yeah. talking about like, like glasses. Like, no, it just didn't like. Um, yeah, yeah, like, tramp stamps didn't really just, retain their value. Or yeah. the detail just starts meshing. Together. Yeah, and, and I'm sure their bodies went through different transformations. Of like, they went chubby, fat, and then skinny. I mean, they all look great physically. Don't even know. Like, they all look great, but their tattoos, I don't think like. Held up. Yeah, they didn't like take the journey with them. Like, some <laughs> oh, years they were like, nah, stop. play. Yeah, we're just gonna stop right here. And so, and then like when I told my friends that, like I even told girls this and they started laughing because you could see everyone with their tattoos. Yeah. And it's like, oh. I feel like that mainly is the case for like aesthetic tattoos. So, you know, obviously some yeah. people get like art on their body and yes, stuff. Yes. I think um, somebody told me a long time ago when I was trying to get comfortable with the idea of getting tattoos and they were like, um, it's, Cool to look at every, like your body is kind of like a journal and then your tattoos on your body is like your journal entries. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You wouldn't just like throw a sticker in there that has like no meaning. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like because if you look back at the journal entry, you'll know the, the context, whether where you were, who you were with, the, the idea, the philosophy behind it. You know what I mean? If yeah. your body's a canvas. So mm -hmm. I think having that kind of foundation of understanding why makes it feel better yeah. or at least so that you don't feel weird validating why you got this dumbass tattoo when you're a kid and now you're like 50 you know what i mean at least this meant something because versus uh it was cool at the time yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying no like it's like yeah you get you, you get a hummingbird on your lower back and now it looks like a chicken uh, but it's significant to you <laughs> <laughs> the hummingbird meant something also go to a good artist yes that's i think true, that's the yeah. most I think that's invest the most in the right artist that's, yeah. what's, that's what's hard about getting tattoos when you're young is you don't even know who the best one is yet you can't even afford the best yeah. one. you're yeah. just going to one to open three hundred dollars an hour nah uh, dude or the right. one that doesn't make you bring a signed note from your mom yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you guys know eunice kiss she's like a model singer um we're, we're, she's one of the girls at the wedding, and then she's like, oh, you mean like mine? Hers is on her forearm, but it's not even straight. It's like at an angle. And she's like, this guy started tattooing at our church, and I was like 15 or 16, and he just was doing it for, as a test. So I got it done. I'm like, oh, oh your mom God. must have been so happy. Because <laughs> it's not even like straight. And you guys know Hyori from Korea? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. She's got tattoos, like, um, as she got to the point where she was like, I want to get tattoos. Because Korea, when tattoos back then were a little uh, weird. She's got tattoos like on her arm. I think she has a sleeve now almost, but they weren't arranged properly. Mm -hmm. So whatever has lines, they're not parallel to her arm. They're like at an end. The placement's a, off. Yeah, yeah, like it should go with, with your body contour yes. or your yeah. body, yeah. And like if it's gonna be like off, it should be like really off. So it's like, oh, there's a statement. But hers are like slightly off. Uh, yeah. So they don't match. And it's like, and she's like at one point, um, even still probably now, known as like the hottest, sexiest woman in Korea, like ever. 
you know. Um, and now she's got. I co-signed that, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hiori is the hottest sexy woman. At that at that time, when I was younger, oh my gosh. H y o r i l e e. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I remember her. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like 40s, I think like 40s. Especially like in now. junior high, early yeah. high school. I remember this person, yeah. Yeah, and, but like she's got like, it's not arranged and the placement. The art proper. form of tattooing also evolves too. That's true, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, suddenly I got five seconds. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they got all hot for a second. Fucking. Hiyori. And, then, <laughs> and then her husband now is like not like a, and in Korea they don't. Wait, she has a sleeve now. Almost like a sleeve. Can we get a picture of her tattoos? Yeah, see the tattoos? I'm sure they have. Yeah, if you type in Hiyori tattoo, and the thing is, her husband is like not a, a good-looking man. And in Korea they don't have a problem with saying people are ugly. So when she got married, like, oh, this guy's ugly. He's a musician. <laughs> He's a musician. They just say that like in the newspaper. They'll say stuff like that. Yeah, it's not. They're not like. They're very comfortable with saying stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Even though they'll go home and cry about it, yeah. they're comfortable telling people, "Oh yeah, she's ugly." Like I don't think she's pretty. They're comfortable saying that, but they're all going home and crying. Nah, no, just like, and he just needs to go shave his chin. But she's got more now. No, this this is probably like this is old. Yeah, this is a little oh, older. She's got more now. She does look like she's older and got a little bit more of that bite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. More yeah. bite. What you mean, yeah. boy? <laughs> what you mean? Like she been through some <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? What's that even you mean? You bite. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> and then her husband's in the tattoos as well. So they both. They're both. We don't need to talk about her husband. Yeah. <laughs>